I don't know. I guess whatever, whatever happens later today. Hmm, well, it's already June. Actually, is it? Is today June? No. Nearly June. End of May, so January, March, April, May. A little on the small side, but not in a bad way. More in like a compact and dense kind of way. Eventually, everyone should, maybe not everyone does, but everyone should come to the realization that you are in complete and total control of how cool or how shit your life ends up being. Now, of course, you know, everybody's got their own setbacks and different starting positions. You know, some, uh, you know, you can go from a comparably like a schmuck to a Rothschild. And very, I mean, this is a kind of an unfair world we're living in. You can start in very different places. But it's kind of up to you, man, right? You got to play your cards right. So when I say eventually you're going to come to a realization that your life is in your own control, you should try to come to that realization as soon as fucking possible. Because if you if you get a grasp on that too late in life, then you're that's not a realization of fucking untapped potential. That's a realization of regret. And you're like, oh crap. I guess I probably ooh, I guess I probably shouldn't have wasted so much time doing nothing. Or maybe I probably should try to do that thing. You know, I really like doing it. I just I decided to put it off and you know, focus on this, that, or the other. You know, it's kind of a, that's not really coming from a place of experience. I mean, I'm fucking kind of a scrapper compared to any other real knowledgeable, wise characters. But I don't think it takes away from the ball crusher. But even though that may as well be the perfect name for it, this is not that intense. For one thing, once you get kind of big, the adductor machines at your gym there's not that much load and I don't think you need to re I mean if you haven't done this before I would say err on the side of caution honestly even if you feel strong this is a very strange movement you can definitely pull something in here and the last thing you want to do is kind of pull your adductor from doing something stupid ego lifting the adduction machine and then you're gonna be fucked for your squats so ease into it if you haven't done it but all I'm really gonna do is sit here fucking kind of squeeze I'll probably do five, six sets-ish. That's fucking sick. But, all done. Let's pull my pants back on. And you know what else helps you stay on the leaner side of things? I don't even have to say it because you already know what I'm going to say. Doing your... Oh, right here. I wonder if I'll remember to splice in those letters. Your cardio, goddammit. Uh, actually... Actually, I don't love it. Actually, I don't really like that much at all. If you're afraid of doing it wrong, then you're never going to do it at all. Right? You waste of space! Human garbage! Worthless piece of shit! I hate you! I hate you! And I always have discipline. You know how important it is. When you want to get self-discipline, you want to surround yourself around the right people who are gonna have like the same goals as you. And so, you know, someone who has the same goals as me, or similar, who drive to be better. That's my buddy Caleb. You know, Caleb gets in the golf room at eight o'clock when I was in there. You know, I wasn't expecting anyone to be rolling in that late. I was thinking, you know, this is just gonna be me. All my other pals are, you know, slacking or not, you know, putting in the work. But, you know, it was nice to see that. And, you know, he and I have definitely uh, hit it off a little bit better just cause our similar mindsets and similar goals, which, those are the people you want to be surrounding yourself with. Just because it's kind of, it's easy to say, but you got to really look and kind of, you know, understand everyone you're around because you want the people who are going to benefit and push you to be better, 
not kind of, you know, take you down, it'd be worse. So it's just something to think about and something I feel like uh, super important. So if you're someone and you can think of, you know, two people off the top of your head, because that's all you really need, who are, you know, continually and actively making you better, you know, good for you. You know, that's fucking awesome. Whether it's your gym partner or just someone you know. But if you're...